FX's Inside Hollywood comedy gets Billy Crystal, Josh Gad and a slew of cameos, but is less than the sum of its parts. As a general rule, bad TV shows make for better TV than good TV shows do. 30 Rock was hilarious, TGS, from the glimpses we got, was mostly so unintentionally. Okay, I do still laugh at someone put too many farts in this engine. The Mary Tyler Moore show was a landmark of 70s television in a way that it's safe to say Ted Baxter's newscast was not. The comeback, the Larry Sanders show and the Dick Van Dyke show each made magic from the process of making, at least, highly challenged productions. FX is the comedians, starring Billy Crystal and Josh Gad as FX stars Billy Crystal and Josh Gad, is an unfortunate exception to this rule. The show within the show is bad, intentionally so. I think. The show itself is worse, if only because there's more of it. The Comedians purports to be a making of documentary about the Billy and Josh show, a sketch comedy born after Crystal unsuccessfully pitches a solo show to FX president Dennis Grant, Dennis O'Hare, doing what I believe is a capable impression of actual FX honcho John Landgraf. The pilot tests badly, as Grant puts it, we're worried that we run the risk of too much. You. He offers to buy the show if the comedy vet takes on a younger partner, Gad, whom you may know from the Book of Mormon, 1600 Ben, Frozen, or thinking he was Jonah Hill. The pilot makes a gag out of that latter mistake, neither comic wants to do it, but Crystal wants to get back on TV and Gad is burning through his savings. The resulting arranged marriage becomes a generational war of egos, a Nashville of comedy, a smash of shtick. There was a time long ago when it would have been brave for two real comics to play themselves in this light, but the inside the funny business business premise has been tackled many ways by now. And in its first four episodes, the comedians will repeat nearly every one of those ways, not to its advantage.